What's going on everyone? Darkwater here and welcome back to American Truck Simulator. We're still sitting at level 22. We are in New Mexico. If I recall, we're in Gallup, New Mexico. Let's check the world map because I think today we're going to do some wandering. Yeah, so we're sitting here in Gallup, New Mexico. I kind of wanted to go north and there's a couple question marks over here. One of these is probably, this is probably a... Uh, a truck location. This is probably a uh, recruitment agency. Uh, let's add to the end. So I think we'll hit the two question marks. We'll just kind of loop around. We'll uh, head up to the 160. We'll hit this photo spot. Um, I think we'll take the 191 up and around like this. Hit the photo spot, hit the scenic point. We will uh, roll through Cayenta. And I guess we'll come this way through Page. Hit this photo spot. I wonder if we could hit it from over here or if we do need to go up here. Well, we could probably flip around at the, uh, the rest stop. <clears throat> Um, there's a scenic point further north. I think we'll stick with this viewpoint here rather than going up and then coming back. Part of me wants to continue to St. George. But at the same time, I think I want to just uh, backtrack down to Page and come over to the uh, the Grand Canyon and just kind of finish there. Oh. Yeah, we might actually have to take the 89 all the way up. Maybe we... Maybe we backtrack and just hit this one page and then come down to the Grand Canyon. And then uh, probably take the 89 down and uh, get into Flagstaff. And then from Flagstaff, we can uh, maybe take a, uh, a haul somewhere, but uh, we will see on that. So can I get rid of you? It gets us to St. George. You're going to make me continue on either way, aren't you? We'll have to see if we can make a U-turn over here, but uh, let's go ahead and get to drive and we'll we'll see what we can do. So uh, heading north up the 491, just pop out, head around and up, got it. And uh, yeah, I think that'll be good today. Hopefully you guys are having a, uh, a good Saturday and uh, or, uh, always appreciate you uh, stopping by to just uh, check out where we're going, what we're doing, and uh, watch me probably uh, run into things. Oh, it's just after midnight. 500 miles, I think we should be okay on gas. That's an interesting question. Uh, let's check the map real quick. 854, so that's not going to work for us. Um, that gas station's on the left-hand side of the road, which isn't horrible. We can get gas up in Farmington, I think. <clears throat> this a road even? Looks like it. 
also thinking about just doing a, a quick rest and rest area to uh, advance time a little bit so we're not just doing all this driving in the dark. There's no point in uh, checking out scenic points if you can't see them. two-lane road. Okay. Well, luckily there was nobody there. a busy intersection. <laughs> than it, I should be going. I was contemplating buying a truck, wasn't it? Maybe that'll be something I do in between this episode and the next, because I think I was going to do it in between prior to this episode. It just dawned on me that uh, I think I was looking at getting a new truck. Don't do that in real life. 
And by that, I mean drive looking in the opposite direction that you're going. But by all means, go out and stargaze. Either go out by yourself or check in your local area, and there's probably a, a stargazing group that uh, checks out a lot of the areas. And uh, I think there's two major ones in Arizona, well, Phoenix, Metro. I take that back. One of the uh, one of the gentlemen that was running one of them uh, recently retired. So he, I spent a lot of time with them doing uh, stargazing and stargazing events. don't quite know where I'm going, so I'm just going to stay in the right lane. just pulled off Johnson Smith Railroad construction
Well, we've discovered Farmington. I don't want the truck to bypass because I actually want to go into Farmington, so. I'll have to wait on that. We'll grab gas at that gas station right there, the right whenever we turn. a red box it's it's a place where you can get drinks Whew. six hundred and thirty five dollars well guess that's where we're going We might not actually need to rest. So maybe we'll bypass this rest area here. And uh, let's keep driving. We'll probably catch the uh, photo points whenever it is daylight, so maybe we'll just continue on. Is it a garage now that I'm thinking about it? Because, yeah, we have a little, uh, a little bit of a problem. 3%, you know what, just repair everything and uh, let's, let's just be done. That's what it is. Okay. There we go. There's a recruitment agency there on the left. We should be able to just trigger by driving past. I would assume. There we go. 
Yeah, let's just be that guy who's driving all over the place. Lane. Parking lot, it looks like. I don't know what's going on here. Oh. Did you just back into him? The whole thing, officer. Threw his car in reverse and just backed into him. Oh, it's a Volvo dealership. All right. Well, that takes care of both of those. But, uh, take a quick peek at the map, shall we? So we're heading up to this photo point here. There is a rest stop. We may or may not take it. I think that's going to depend on what it looks like whenever we get there. It's still 319. I don't know if uh, time will progress faster once we're on the interstate or not. We not be doing like 25 over. <laughs>
where's this go? Sorry, really got sidetracked here. Ooh. Secrets? An abandoned gas? over here. I don't think I can fit through that. No. But the sun starts to come up. And we're just going to trespass on somebody's property here. Oh, is it really trespassing if you're just in the Very front yard on the uh, just on their driveway. Hmm, probably. Ah, it's the Four Corners Monument. Yeah, I've never actually been here before. Which is interesting given the fact that I've lived in Arizona most of my life. But, uh... Yeah, never been up here before. Oh, there's a cinematic spot as well. Almost. So the Four Corners is where Arizona, Colorado, New Mexico, and Utah all join together in just a, uh, a single corner. You can stand in the middle of the right there like the uh, person's doing and uh, be in four states at once. I really should venture out and uh, head up there. <laughs> See it at least once.
Um, I assume the uh, photo spot is of the same. Yeah. I get a better angle over here because that would be great. How far over can I go? There we go. Nice uh, picture of the four corners with the uh, sun coming up. Fantastic. And we are off and running. Brand new day. And uh, we should consult the map, shouldn't we? So yeah, we'll take the 191 to the 163, hit the photo spot, hit the viewpoint, head down to Kayenta, head up over to Page, and we will figure out where we're going from there. Okay, I think we got a good plan going here. World famous Four Corners Monument with art, crafts, and food. And we're back in Arizona. We're in Utah. We're just hopping from state to state here.
Oh, that's that's a bright reflection. Mexican hat, 19 miles. No idea what the Mexican hat is. I assume it's a geologic formation that looks like sombrero. confused with falling rocks. Oh, Mexican hat is apparently a town. Like it just rolls up to the hotel. Wandered into Monument Valley with all the uh, rock formations. Looks like there's a spot yeah monument valley right here looks like a nice wide shot there we go looks like I'm blocking traffic which is technically I am blow officer So there also is a scenic view area here coming up. Can I make a left? No. Can I make a right? Up on the left here. World's greatest outdoor museum. A 
again. Someplace I've never been to. I don't know what that is, but it looks like I can go down that road a little bit. Alright. As soon as I figure out where that road is. And we're back in Arizona. <laughs> Kayenta is next, and then we'll head over to Page. And then I think we'll just take Page down to the Grand Canyon. Farming area, it looks like. This is definitely trespassing. Yeah, I don't see any more secrets or anything here, so... What you did with the place. Um, did I get myself stuck? golden. Alright, we've discovered Kayenta. Opening up more areas that we can deliver from. right here. Anybody need a divorce lawyer? Only a hundred dollars down.
Apparently everybody's heading over to Paige. in the page. Oh, okay. Tell you what, let's check the map. And decide what we're doing. Because it clearly looks like if we head up here, uh, let's reset now. There's a way station here, so we... Mm. Yeah, that is the Utah side. Here's the borderline. I'd like to think you could make a U-turn somewhere, but I don't... I don't think you can. So maybe we will just head down to Grand Canyon and check that out and go from there out of curiosity is there anything from page down to uh, flagstaff camp verde clovis redding no no the closest thing's going to be to camp Birdie, and that's further south than I want to go. And that's not a place we've really, that we've discovered yet. So uh, let's just head on down to the uh, the Grand Canyon, and uh, we will go from there, I think. Oh, there's the Glen Canyon Dam up here. I don't, 
suppose you're going to turn, are you? Oh, there's construction. Hold on. Question. Yeah, I guess I could go that way. A shorter route this way, but, uh... There's construction ahead. I assume you guys can go through that, yes? I feel like that's what's holding us up right here. You know what? Let's make a left. Or a right, rather. We'll head out this way. I'm of the assumption that viewpoint is of Glen Canyon Dam. Probably should stop at the stop sign. Uh, you know what? Let's let's take a quick peek. Worst case scenario, we make an eight point turn and make a U turn. But we're right here. The dam's got to be right here. Yeah. The viewpoint's right here. No parking on the bridge. There we go. Good old Glen Canyon Dam. Keep ballooning over it. I assume that's a visitor center across the way. There's a road that takes you up to the dam itself, but I don't think we could actually take that. All right. We will uh, end up back here at some point, I would imagine. Uh oh. After this truck. Hey, <laughs> don't mind me. Going down to uh, Flagstaff. Where do you go? Looks like that road went that way. You know what? Let's let's explore, shall we? Let's. Uh, I need to make a U-turn. Road goes. We're we're fine. 
my my truck could handle my insaneness of suddenly deciding to uh go over here. Oh that road does go away. I found the dirt. Well I guess that's exciting. Hey, see you guys. Just driving around. Okay. But now we know that road doesn't go anywhere. So the next time we're up here, I will probably forget. I can't see past that bush. Which means it's safe to go. leveled up. Okay. Just by wandering around. Springs. I can't go down to Bitter Springs. Takes you back to Cayenne. Ah, it's the rest of the 160. Okay. Wasn't sure where that road was going. back up to you. Uh, 
stay behind you and we'll get up the roundabout. Grand Canyon National Park. ride from Williams, Arizona, which is a little west of Flagstaff across the 40. And you uh, catch a train up, I think at like 7 a.m., 8 a.m., it's early. Might have even been 6 a.m. I was a teenager, so it was early. So we caught a train from Williams, and I think it's a two and a half hour train ride between Williams and the Grand Canyon, and then you get three or five hours in the canyon, and then you take the uh, the train back to Williams. And it's a, it's a nice train ride, and uh, you get a little time to uh, to wander around the. Uh, the canyon area. It's a, it's a good time. When I was doing my graduate work, my uh, advisor and his brother ended up hiking down from the rim into the canyon and spent a night down in the canyon overnight and then hiking back out again. He enjoyed it, but it's one of those things that they only give a certain number of passes for. So he and his brother had to uh, get their passes way in advance for it. There we go. Grand Canyon National Park. Now, if I recall correctly, we did take a... Yeah, we did take a... Uh... Ooh! Crap. Sorry. We did just absolutely obliterate ourselves rear-ending that guy. We did take a, uh... Something up here you can see on the, the mini-map there. There's a helicopter coming to, uh... Extract me out of our semi. Right after we got it fixed up, too. Canyon view in the Grand Canyon Village. Well, let's go see if we can view the canyon. There it is. Don't know where I'm going. Missed the wall, though. Nice view. We've got the helicopter coming in. Uh, there is, I think, on the north rim. I could be really mistaken. There's the uh, the walk where you can walk over the canyon on kind of the uh, little glass walkway. I thought there was a viewpoint up here. Not? Huh? 
No, it's a photo spot. It's just the canyon. Uh, I think we're going to do a loop back around. Didn't realize it was work up here. There's also a gas station up here, too. Interesting. Part of me wants to run this light. There we go. Yeah, there's a uh, contract icon right there. Probably taking those tires somewhere. Let's just make a, a quick loop around. Oh, apparently it's sprinkling. Cute. Oh, I can't go that way. Okay. So let's just do a quick loop. We will head back. We will take a quick picture of the canyon. As we, uh, Discover more areas around here. Because we might not make it up here for quite a while. But we will make a left. That was not the same car. Pretty sure that was a Mustang there before. We made a right last time. We'll head up this way. Anything new and exciting over on this side? That looks to be a no. Don't know why I would go that way. We're just going to roll down over here. A quick picture of the Grand Canyon in the rain with the helicopter there. And we'll take it just a nice big view. And you know, I think this is going to be a good place to end this episode. And uh, next time we'll probably check to see what kind of jobs there are in Flagstaff and decide where we're going from there. But thank you all for watching. I appreciate you guys for being here. And I look forward to seeing you guys again in American Truck Simulator. And as always, I hope you guys have yourselves an amazing day. Oh, yeah.